Now, I get asked to review loads of AI tools these days, and I'm very selective about the ones I say yes to. So the team at My Stylist, this is what it looks like here, all reached out to me and said, review our product. I was like, sure, but it's gonna be a genuine review. I'm not gonna like just promote your product for no reason. And they were like, yeah, no problem. And uh... I'm really nervous about putting this review out because uh, I don't think this tool is very good. <laughs> and they paid a lot of money for it. And, uh... Oh God. Oh, anyway, this is what I mean. All right, so when you first log into My Stylist, you get these three options here, which is blank document, student paper, and source management. So these are the things that I wanted to do with this tool. And you can see here that we've got student paper, all academic levels. And I'm like, great, I'm a PhD qualified scientist. That's all academic levels. Let's see what it can do. And don't get me wrong, it started very, very promising, but you'll see where it goes off the rails in a minute. Um, and we'll get back to blank document in a minute. And then we've also got source management. If you scroll down to the bottom, we've also got all of these different types of tools. And we'll talk about those at the end and you'll see uh, what they can do. Uh, okay. So so student paper, if you click here, this is what I was interested in because I want to be guided through the creation of, you know, my work. I want a structured workflow. I like that. So let's here, click student paper and then you get taken to this kind of like, what are you writing today? And this is where I was really excited and I was like, okay, describe your paper or your past content or your rubric content. I was like, okay, let's see what I want to write. I want to write a, a, a literature review about OPV devices. And then you've got this little button down here, enhance with AI and I'm going to click that and I was actually pretty pleased with what it did because it took this tiny little thing here and then it was like enhance with AI and it comes up with the title the advancements and performance analysis of state-of-the-art organic photovoltaic devices I like that's a good enough that's like a pretty exciting title I like that then we go to abstract and this paper presents a detailed examination okay well that's an abstract is that what I want yeah it's pretty good this study contributes to the field by pro providing a benchmark for future research well I think it's already overreaching. I just want it to create a little report, maybe even a literature review, and it's not really kind of even started on that path. But nonetheless, let's continue. Um, you can also add sources. So I did that. We'll check that out in a minute, but I won't uh, wait through that at the moment. And we also got this AI suggestions. Allow AI to find and suggest sources for your paper. And then you can see it's from Google Scholar. Then we've got Semantic Scholar and Archive. Oh, I'm good at picking up my logo these days, aren't I? All right, and then we click next step. And then this is where it started like getting even more exciting. So I was like, oh, like academic level. Well, I am a doctoral degree. That's the, that's the level I want it. And what sort of paper are you writing? Well, I'm writing a literature review and which citation style should be used? Well, I use I, E, E, E. And I love saying that. E, 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 E. e, e. Love it with an I in front, obviously. And then what type of outline do you need? The structure and outline will be adapted to you. Okay, I just want a standard literature review. And then uh, let's say I want like 10 pages. That should get me started. And I love this kind of like decision making process. It kind of like just walks you through the process. Okay, I like that next step. Everything was looking so promising at this stage. And then we can see we've got like a generated outline being spilled out. And then we've got, uh, it's found these references. So it's found what, five more and then those three. So that's eight. Oh, maths. Yeah, that's right. All right then. So here we go. So down the bottom, you've got this like searching for references process. Oh, it's gone. But it's got like a little outline of what's happening. And then you look at this uh, paper outline and you're like, okay, advancements and performance analysis. Okay, that's good. Background and context. The other, And I was like, you know what? This is looking really promising. My audience is going to love this. I can talk happily if it follows these sort of things. Key, re key findings from those results. Now, is a literature review more than five or eight references? Hmm, yes. So I'm not really pleased. Let's go to manage references and let's see if we can search for some more. It says search PDF references. I don't know what that means. We can also upload stuff, which is great. So it will take you to these. Let's just upload some of these. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good. Um, And so, you know, you do need to sort of like give it a little bit more of a, a, a push in the right direction so that it actually looks for the right sources. But let's go back to template. Oh, now it's processing the references and they need to wait a little bit longer. And 
And this is one thing about this tool that is not my favorite thing, is even though it's stepwise, there's a lot of waiting. But there we are, okay, it's done. And two more sources, comp oh, I don't know. Okay, so it's processing the, re the resources, but the user interface is going in and out of this like weird techno, like now this scene, now this scene, oosh, 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 oosh. And it's just sort of like a little bit off putting, to be honest. All right, now three more sources, but hang on, how have I ended up with less sources than I had before? I don't really understand that. So anyway, so look, at the moment we've got to this stage and uh, you know, I was quietly confident. Um, it does sort of like results, methods, it's, the one thing I noticed about this, and you'll see in a minute, is that it kind of like forces you into this very structural, uh, very sort of like um, procedural uh, paper generation thing where it's like introduction, methods, results, and discussion, conclusion. And I'm like, well, I'm writing a, a, a literature review. That's not what I actually need it to flow. That's not the flow. And I feel like the developers of this have never really written a literature review and so just sort of like, go, oh, yeah, this must be it. And it's not. It's not this. You come up with themes. You come up with even a chronological kind of history component, if that works for your research field. Um, if you're in any other research field, you definitely sort of come up with the themes and, and sort of like bubbles of different research that link together, that fit under a main heading. And I feel like that there's none of that understanding at this stage of the uh the process and that's where those little alarm bells really started to to go off so uh yeah anyway i'm happy with this uh, ish and so oh, burp. oh no it's a nervous burp i'm so sorry starless i hate ai you paid a lot of money for this and i'm destroying it okay next step this is the next step okay so we click next step and uh then we can say welcome to the paper editor okay i've done the tour and then what you'll notice is in this paper editor, it talks you through this progress, introduction, methods, results, con discussion, conclusion. And that's just not the flow of a literature review, despite the fact it knows I'm looking for a, to write a literature review. This is like a paper that you've got your own sort of data on and you do an introduction of methods, results, discussion, conclusion only on a peer reviewed paper or at like a project report if you've got your own results. This doesn't really match what I want it to write. And so, yeah, look, it, it takes a while. All of this kind of like waiting, it says this could take up to two minutes, but in my experience, to produce the whole document, um, it does really sort of take like half an hour of clicking and waiting and clicking and waiting. And look, th this is the thing and as well, like, I, I just feel like it's unpolished. It, it's, it's, it's really unpolished. So here you can see introduction, then it's just like a very sort of like GP, GPT 3.5 output. And you can tell there's always, always kind of like different um, like tells that it's written by AI and it's gone away. It's found, it's just sort of like mashed together random stuff. And this is an IE, -E 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 -E, like referencing. Uh, I, I don't often put quotes in my field um, and that should be a number. And then if we go down to, you know, eventually it'll kick out references and I've had issues with that. Um, it just, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't flow the way it should. Um, and so look, you can regenerate it. And I've played about here by regenerating and uh, enter your requirements. And it, it just still, it struggles. It's, it's a struggler. Um, I like the fact that it pulls out quotes if that's important for your uh, research field, like in the humanities and, uh, and other subjects that I'm unfamiliar with. Uh, it's got an originality kind of like setting and you can detect AI apparently, but I've clicked that button heaps and it doesn't do anything, um, which is is quite annoying. You just end up waiting. So you see here, uh, detect AI content, humanized content, detect, and then uh, you click it. And what I like to do is dance. And you can do that for hours and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing pops up. Um, so you go through this process. Okay, we click accept and then we go generate next. You can see the bibliography list. It doesn't produce anything. It doesn't even have I, E, 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 which is what I really wanted. And I can regenerate and it just doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Why did you send me an AI tool that doesn't work? I don't understand it. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna continue with this because it's what, <laughs> it's what I promised to deliver. Oh, okay.
Uh, am I going? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be sued for this. I have no idea. Anyway, that doesn't work. Um, and then uh, what else? Okay, look, look, you understand the process. This is what happens. This is something that I did before, um, you know, as testing it out. And uh, th there's some really, okay, skip tour. We had so many tours. Um, get rid of that. The progress, yes, we understand it works. Look, I wrote 2,542 words. Um, and you can see that it's pulled out stuff. And it is here. It's I E E E E E E E E E E referencing, but nowhere nowhere else. So it, there's no there's no cohesion. There's no cohesion at all. I can't find the references. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, it doesn't read very well because they forced you into this. Like here we are, this one: introduction, methods, results, discussion, conclusion, and then every single chapter ends with "in conclusion." The methods employed in this literature review provide a robust framework for understanding the methodological rigor that underpins the examination of OPV events. That it, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that that even is what the method section showed. The method section of a literature review should be the methods that you know you can use to create OPV devices. The methods in which people have kind of like uh, uh, fabricated these devices, but it, but there's none of that, um, which which is really frustrating because the, you can't use this. You you can't use this at all. You can also export it to this or we'll get rid of that editor score um, in it as a like a word document, but it doesn't have the references. Um, and I think yeah, it, like conclusion, in conclusion, in conclusion. It's just it's. I feel like they're using an older. Um, uh, version of ChatGPT, like the cheapest version, like the 3.5, because it, it 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 lacks the nuance that is required to prove you understand what's going on, and it doesn't know that. So yeah, that was that. Anyway, um, if I go back to the home, you can see that you can also sort of like start a paper from scratch. So you click here, um, and then you can start a paper from scratch. I actually did this with one of them. Where is it? All right, maybe this one. So I asked um, this little AI agent up in the corner, if you click this up, you know, it says, what can I do with you? Chat, write for you, web search, which doesn't doesn't work, uh, and then chat with files. Um, and so uh, look, I. Look, this is this is the thing about this tool is you you do end up waiting a lot. Okay, here we go. Oosh, 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 oosh. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, my documents. Let's go back to I don't even know advancements in flexible transparent electrodes. Maybe that one. Okay, no, that was the tool. And another thing about this tool. <laughs> is that my documents updates. It's not chronological. It updates as to the, where you click. So this is the one I r opened recently, but I, it just moves around so much and you cannot change. This is another thing. You cannot change the the thing. So you click here, the, the name of it, rename, and it doesn't do anything. Do, it doesn't do anything. I'm so sorry, my stylus. I said it would be a genuine review. And it's not working. Okay. And then also all of the little previews are the same the same like figure and image. Like so I don't know I don't know which one it is. I I don't know which one it is. Here we are. This is it. Okay. <sighs> Oh, okay. So this is what I wanted. I asked this AI agent in the corner, and this is their their standard kind of like um, editing the blank document thing. Um, and here we go. This is this is it here. You've got AI commands. You've got all the normal improve fluency, paraphrase, make it longer. Let's let's make it a little bit longer. And then uh, yeah, here I asked for a structure, and I put that structure there. The one thing I don't like about it is that you there's no way to cite like in other. AI writers, you can cite. There's there's no way to cite here. You, I mean, you can turn it into a, a citation itself. You can put it in. You can edit yourself. But uh, yeah, the, the citations are lacking, which means that for um, like for any academic purpose, it's really not suitable. I'm I'm so sorry. This is so bad. Why? Oh God, I am going to get sued. I'm going to get sued for this review. Um. Anyway, the last things. 
uh, that I think you should know about um, are this source management. And so ma source management, they wanted me to point out here. So if you enter like OPV devices, um, you can click here. Oh, you can also like uh, talk to it, which I haven't done, uh, but nonetheless, that's it. And then so OPV devices, let's have a look. Um, uh, I want nanomaterials. Um, and then get sources. Okay, this is another issue with this tool is that it really doesn't give many sources. If I was to put this into other AI tools, um, like Elicit, like Semantic Scholar, I would find loads and loads of uh, references. But um, no, that that's that's not the case here, unfortunately. I, I've done it a couple of times. Look, you can see it's found four sources. Four. Four sources, that's it. That's all, that, like, they, I know there are hundreds, if not thousands of papers produced in this field, and it's found four, and it's compiling the optimal list. I don't know, four? Four, okay. The effect of nano composites and the performance of thin fill solar cells. Yeah, high, okay, so, like, I, yeah, that's it. Okay, then we go home, and they've also got other, other tools. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, okay, here we go. There's also productivity tools. So if you click here, it takes you to this page where you've got on the tab down here, rewriter, paraphraser, advanced summarizer, grader, and also AI detector and humanizer. And I'll be honest with you, throughout my whole testing, none of them have ever worked. <laughs> oh. None of them, no, none of them have worked. So if I go here and I get like, okay, this is what they gave me, um, and let's just grade it. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna take all of this section, bonk, copy, and I'm gonna paste it into here, and let's have a look. Let's go, uh, no, let's go grade paper. Okay, I'm gonna grade your paper, then it goes 21, 25, and you wait, you do the dance. Party time. And that can go on for ages because I found it just gets stuck at this bit. And it's like grading your paper and yeah, the, yeah, that's it. That's where it gets stuck. And eventually if you wait long enough, it will say like error or like failed to fetch or something like that. So that there are, there are significant issues with this tool that I, I, don't, I don't know why it was sent to me for review if it's in this state. Um, AI, AI detector and humanizer. Um, okay, we can check for AI once again. It it goes and it gets stuck, and I don't know which bits are, 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 are AI or not. I mean, I know it's all AI because I generated it um, with their their tool. Uh, humanize, yeah, that you know, it, it just gets stuck. So these tools, the other productivity tools that they're offering. Um, yeah, they, they just don't work either. But I do like this down here. Be advised that even though our AI detector is sophisticated, never base judgments that could affect someone's academic standing or career only on AI detection. I like that because they've obviously seen uh, students getting like told off for using AI when in fact it wasn't AI. They wrote it themselves, but the AI detectors are generally pretty uh, hit or miss as to whether or not it's AI or not AI anyway. So I do like that they've got that little thing down there just being like, look, our AI detector could cause you to make some bad decisions. So be careful, you. Don't go firing people or or like dismissing papers just because here we are uh, there are ai detection results will p appear here uh, and they never they never have they, they never have um so there we are if this channel survives i've not been sued to oblivion so uh yeah there we are my stylus if you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about getting published in Scopus Index Journals fast. I think you'll love it. And it's a very important part of academia. So make sure you know everything about it. Go check it out.